Nebraska favored against the top 25 team? That can't be true. That's coming up. Hey, what's up, Husker Nation? My name is Logan Merrick, and this is Husker Central. Thanks so much for uh, tuning in with me. I want to first off, before I dive into anything, I want to say thank you to each and every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel, who have left comments, have left likes. I mean, the the, the comments have been super encouraging, and it shows me that we truly are the best fan base on the planet. And I created this channel because I wanted a place where I could talk about the Huskers and find other like-minded Husker fans like myself who just wanted Husker news and be able to talk about the Huskers without being like a journalist. I'm not a journalist. I'm just a fan. I love, I love the Huskers and I wanted to create a place where we could commiserate and celebrate our Huskers all together. So I wanted to say thank you so much to every single one of you and let's help build the community. Now, with that being said, the Huskers going against a top 25 Iowa team. And there's a lot that goes into that. Are, can do they actually stand a chance to win this game? Because let's be let's what we all know, they they being Nebraska uh have a chance to be bowl eligible for the first time since 2016 if they win this game. Not only do I want to win because of that, but also because it's Iowa. I mean, come on, man. Like, we, if anything, I want to win that game every year. That game in Colorado. And so I see the odds come out, and they've been changing. And the latest one that I that I saw and I screenshot, I want to share it with you right here, is Nebraska is favored. By two and a half points. Are you serious right now? Are, are the odds makers in Vegas that crazy? Because we have a losing record. They do not. <laughs> and so wh how could we be favored by a field goal, essentially? Well, let's kind of look at that a little bit. The gauntlet. I mean, really the only team they've really played is Penn State, and they got blown out by them. Now that doesn't mean that Nebraska has had this like juggernaut of a schedule too. No, the big the Big Ten West is is really really down this year. Wisconsin is is not good. Um, Northwestern, I mean, congratulations again to Northwestern. Six wins, that's incredible. No one would have thought that, but Northwestern's not not great. Purdue's not good. Uh, Michigan State not good, right? And so Nebraska trying to find themselves, and, and, and if we're honest with ourselves as fans, we're not good, but we're a tough team. I will say that. You, you don't want to really play Nebraska because they're a tough team, and it's going to be a slugfest the entire time. Defense, hard-hitting, offense, we're going to run it down your throat. We're going to come at you. You don't really want to play us. Um, not saying that we're going to beat you, but you don't really want to play us. And so when you look at that, and then you look at a, at a couple of other things, and that is um, – some statistics here. So let's look at that. Iowa rushing offense is 105th. They do, they have, uh, they average 119.3 yards per game. Nebraska, to kind of put it into perspective, is 26th with 186.1 yards per game. Passing offense. Now, let me know in the comments did you truly think that there was anyone worse than us in passing offense? I I didn't like anyone of of notoriety. What I like it, it it'd be one thing if it was, I don't know, the Sun Belt team or something, you know, with Northern Illinois, whatever. Um, but they're 127th. Iowa is. We're 126th. Um, they average 126.1 yards per game. We are just a little bit better at 131.1. Total offense, they are 130th. We're 113th, Nebraska. They average 245.4 yards per game, and we average 317.2 yards per game. So when you look at that, offensively, they are just as bad, technically from the statistics, worse than we are. Now, where do they make up that margin? How is it that they're winning games and we're not? Their punter, incredible. Special teams, incredible. 
Us, not so much. We're average to below average in special teams. Um, Brian Buscini, struggling as of late. Last game, horrible game. He has he can be great. He can be terrible. There's really no in-between with him. And so from a punt perspective and a special teams perspective, that is definitely all in Iowa. From a defensive perspective, um, they, rushing defense, are 18th. We're 5th. Passing defense, they're 10th in the nation. We're 58th. Total defense, they're 7th, and we're 15th. So there's also where they make up some ground. Now, I think that could that could... I don't want to say a wash. It's not a wash because they're a better defense. But I think our defense can really get after them and 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 change some things. Uh, scoring defense, they're third and we're 19th. They definitely have an incredible defense. Um, red zone offense, they're, they are 54th and we are 125th. Red zone defense, they're 6th and we are 79th. Not good. Turnover margin, you don't want to know they are way better than us. <laughs> I mean, it's just the fact of the matter. So how is it that we could be favored? Well, looking at their offensive statistics and knowing that they're not good and that they play from a standpoint of they are going to let their defense do all their scoring, we have a chance. Small one, but we have a chance. And Vegas sees that. They see that we have the ability to run the ball well and they are giving up some yardage when it comes to, I mean, they're, you don't, you're not going to run the ball down their throat, but the, that's what they're not as good at on defense, and that's what we're best at. So special teams can tighten up if uh, um, Tristan Alvano can get some clutch kicks. If Brian Buscini can have some good punts, we win this game. I have a, I'll have a score prediction for you at the end, and I want to know your score prediction in the comments below. Um, so, with that being said, Cooper DeGene, their best punt returner, their best defender, out for the season. I'm sure you knew that. So that also plays in our favor. So with those things, I mean, it kind of gives us a chance to, to win. And I'm excited about it. Um, I want the ball. Man, I, I cannot. Man. Would love, love, love nothing more than a Husker Bowl. Never seen it uh, since living here in Nebraska. Haven't seen one. Haven't experienced one. It was 2016. I moved here in 2017. So we've got a chance. I'm excited. And if anything, I just want to. I just want again for us to win and beat Iowa like we did last year when Trey Palmer smoked them all game, which was pretty sweet. All right, now, my score prediction. I think it's going to be a slugfest, as it always is. I think it's going to be a lot of punting. <laughs> but I think at the end of the day, I think Chubba Purdy comes to play. I think our offense comes to play, and I think our defense lays the wood. And I think we win 13-3, to Nebraska. The good guys take it home. They're going to a bowl. Uh, the seniors are... Uh, Get to go out on top, and I've got another video. It's going to be right here talking about the news with Ty Robinson. So make sure you go over there because it's exciting news. So, yeah, um, 13 to 3. Let me know what your predictions are down in the comments. I want to also let you know I will be live streaming the game right here on YouTube, right here on this channel. So make sure you subscribe. If you're going to be out and about, you can just have a headphone in. I'm going to be kind of uh, giving you my live reactions as they happen, telling you what's going on, giving you score updates. Would love for you to join me, man. Just be in the comments. Let me know what what you're thinking as we're as we're as the game is going. Would love the company. And uh, also too, I also want to say I told you guys thank you for being great fans. And I don't know how, in my first couple of videos, I forgot to say Go Big Red, but I want to say thank you so much. Jake Whitley, 5256, made this comment, and he said, you got to say Go Big Red at the end of every video, bro. And so he's right. How did I? Thank, thank you, Jake. Thank you for that. 
Um, and there were some other comments saying, hey, you got a, a, a massive shadow cut, cutting across your face. Yeah, I know it was driving me crazy, and I finally got it fixed. Thanks to the Lord. Uh, thanks be to Jesus. So thank you guys for being just amazing, an amazing community. And uh, yeah, if you would, if you like this video, if you got some stuff out of it, please like it, share it, uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. But look forward to seeing you on the live stream. And don't forget to go check out this video on the news about Ty Robinson. With that being said, have a great Thanksgiving and go big red. See ya.